be pretty confident that it will be Guile. <laughs> look at it. Look, he, he looks into it, actually. Like, Sometimes yeah. Daigo comes up to play, and he's, like, as blah as possible. But look at that. All right, this is a, Dude, this is a half, half There's so half much expression. Smile. There's so much expression really on is, Daigo's actually. face. I'm serious. You know, Are yeah. you making fun of me? Because I'm no, serious. No, no, okay. I'm serious, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm more making fun of Daigo than anything, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but no, yeah, he seems into it. That, that's good. Yeah. 10 a.m. pools here. But I like that, though. Taigo, I mean, I've even seen on some of his streams recently, like when he just plays online, yeah. he has definitely been showcasing a lot more oh, personality. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I think there was even one stream where something happened on stream and he just started laughing. And uh -huh. I was like, wait, Taigo laughs? Yeah, yeah no, I've, I've, I've watched it, too. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's funny uh, because historically in the FGC, we viewed him as being very stoic. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, he rarely talk, but I think that was really just in the American FGC context and probably uh, never how it really was. He, I mean, I remember going out and hanging out with friends uh, where he was too, and you know, he would he would always hang out and always have a good yeah, time. Yeah, but that absolutely. was after the games ended. I mean, there was the one very, very famous Evo that afterwards that uh, okay. Taigo and Combo Fiend had to be uh, <laughs> escorted back to their room because they could not do so on their own. Okay. <laughs> The blow ups. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Krim or Minot. All right. It's part of FTC history, it man. It is. It's historical. And, you know, oh. seeing Kramor using Minot can be a good indication that maybe he was probably the one that defeated a cool kid because Minot, Abigail, not, not a necessarily easy match for Abigail. Could be, yeah. Although, once Abigail gets on them, it's very scary. Daigo is slowly chasing around. He's, it's a very deliberate offensive style of Guile right now, trying to get in. He's, oh, I love that tippy toe of the medium. He's throwing booms in a way that just allows him to move forward. It's not about zoning per se. It's about using them as a way to get in. Yeah, again, you see the dash following the boom. But Kramor moves. All right, sending out one orb. Oh, look at that. He actually got a couple of them. The combo continues sending out the orb, and he still has the medium orbs available to him to use as projectiles. Okay, orbs are gone. Ooh, I love that. At the range where he could block just in time. Very well spaced by Kramor. Daigo knows that he's winning these trades. Just because he has more life. So funny that, you know, he's using the, the Red Bull outfit here. I like it. Oh, okay, good Grip patience. Lock. Yeah. There it is, oh, EX. EX. He can strike so suddenly, and I feel like it's a big risk for Minot to throw out the orb in that kind of a situation. Right. It just takes out a little while. I also want to uh, give a report from the floor here. Commander Jesse in the G2 Winners Finals defeated Human Bomb. So he's into semis on winner's side, beating Human Bomb. Okay. That is impressive. Again, forward movement here from Taigo, trying to pressure. I mean, it can be kind of a tough matchup for Guile if he just stays away and allows Minot to beat his zoning. So, okay, forward. It is. Very capable of doing that. But spacing it well, Ooh, even okay. as he does so. Yeah, you can see him ba dancing around his own re reflected projectile. Yeah. He danced around the Fierce and getting there in the first place. Yeah, he definitely baited that reflect that time and had to punish properly on that. Mm -hmm. That thing has a lot of lag after uh, using it. That said, Kramor is not very far down in life here. This is still doable for him. Right. In fact, pretty much hey, even. Okay. Hey. Nice. Yep. If you got the meter, you can get the last second uppercut. Life lead now for Kramor, and so Daigo has shown his ability to get in. Okay, explosion comes. Daigo fully stocked. Will he look for sweep activate or what? Just play patiently now? I mean, I'm thinking maybe a back fierce. Oh, he tried counter. it too. There was a down strong from Kramor, but didn't reach. Oh! Oh, Too no! Far. Oh, Daigo could have just raw oh, yeah. critical arted that thing. Oh, so no! I think the intent of Rekrimo was to it. act on, on reaction, oh. hot V-Trigger, bring out Super, but he just did the reaction. V-Trigger 2A3 is a little bit of recovery. Yes. It's not a lot, mm -hmm. but there is some, and I think that's right when the jump roundhouse hit. Oh, that's unfortunate. What, what, what is... I'm trying to figure out who Joy is cheering for right now. I don't know, man. But you can see them in the background there. <laughs> yep. Joy and the cool kid. A, getting a hug from Damon there. Oh, crush counter, back fist. Goes for the sweep combo. That's going to be punishable, yeah. Yeah. Got to be really careful with those drills. 
Suddenly a steamroll here from Daigo and a huge mountain for Kramor to climb. Reflex to get it going. See what he can get. He's going to need a lot. Okay. And, oh, again that missed. That's odd. I mean, I know you can get two lights into V skill, but was the orb out? Because obviously without the orb, it has no range. So maybe he just forgot. I, I, didn't, I don't remember now. Daigo trying to find something again, just moving forward consistently. It's been the way that this whole set has gone. Nice. Kramor has been running here and there, pressing occasionally, but a lot of it has been him running away. Yeah, Manat has that range on the sweep when she has the orb that makes it very hard to punish, but Daigo even had the Sobat kick all ready for it. Well, you can count on him to be prepared. We saw how good he looked at Ely when he showed up recently. Oh, yeah. Taking his, his uh, tournament. Big life lead for Kramor, but man, we can see, you've already seen the damage that Guile dishes out. Oh. Okay. Yep, still has a few. Two of them, Sends three of them. them. All One him. left. Yeah, but only To one it. end, there oh, it is. Oh, that was cool. Pushed him back was into it. Was that the round? It is, okay. Good stuff to Kramor there, using the meter for that EX uppercut. It's always a dangerous thing. If you have a Manat that's willing to spend those meters for the EX uppercut all the time, it does make it much more risky to jump at her. She can't critical arch you as much before uh, anymore, though. And uh, Manat's obviously end a lot of rounds with that. It's still back there. Yep, Daigo knew. As soon as he sees the Fierce, that, that's when he throws the boom. It's a safe time to throw it. No action's really possible from Manat. Not that she's going to get hit by the boom, but that just is a safe way for Daigo to set it out. Yep. Here's oh, a wow. damaging combo. Dang. Confirms into the critical art. Look at this. Tons of life gone. Just a little bit more to drain for Daigo, and now he can just play so patient. He doesn't really need to be aggressive at all. But of course, he can't play completely patient. You're gonna see Daigo all of a sudden go in aggressive. Well, not right now with the orbs there. Sure, but I, the, the point is that he's not just about playing away right now. There's right. He's still looking for avenues to deal damage. Kramor gives up his, and he has, it's a tough road right now. Right. So very like tough. I imagine Daigo playing very safe right now. But you see that forward dash right there. He's looking for that one moment that he can go in. Yep. See, 29 seconds left right now. Kramar knows it. He's got to move. Okay, gets a little bit of V-meter. Throwing that boom means that she gets to build some V-meter. Okay, in there. But, man, this is so tough. Look at this. 12, 12 seconds, seconds left. He's got to start moving. He needs to hit him, but I don't even know if the oh, critical no. art would finish in time if he had caught him. Maybe you know? not. Yeah, bad spot to have been in. Just took a while. Very, very nicely played by Daigo. Commanding performance from him, and he yeah. qualifies him. Winner's side, out of the pool. That was pool G5. You can see their fancy Vertigear chairs they're sitting in with the little glowing lights in the background there.